Hi everyone, in this video we will continue our exciting series which is designing a steel structure in Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis Professional. So we're still in part 1, video number 3. So we're going to give the structure its proper shape in this video. That means we will generate the 3D model of the structure. Tab on 3D generation. And now we have to define sections. So click here and add new section. For example, it's 5 by 16. After defining the section, we have to specify the locations at which the third dimension members will be added. That means, for example, for this member, its length is 5. So we write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This member, 0 0.5, 1, 0.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 4.5, 9. Go again to this member and control A to select and control C to copy and select this member and control V. And finally this member we have to enter the values manually. So start by 0.1 point five one one point five two two point five three three point five four four point five now click on generate three D model So this is the, the structure in the 3D view. So our next step is to add the cladding. What is cladding? Cladding is a load transfer mechanism. So we go to geometry, cladding, select rectangle. We add the next surface starting from this point. So now we have added the cladding. The next step is defining loads. As I told you, DL1 accounts for the self weight of the structure. So we go to dead load 2. First go to geometry and change the structure type to Okay, now go to load definition. And from here we define the surface load and we make sure that we are selecting delete 2 and we enter the value of minus 0.25 kilopascal. Okay, and we add it 
on this surface and also this one now we add the life load we suppose its value is 0.5 so we add it here and also here so this is our structure and this is our structure with the with the life load with, with dead load and this is with life load now we have to make sure that the self weight is taken into account in calculations so select dead load 1 and go to load definition self weight and this structure is having a self weight prior to adding braces we have to define the section so <clears throat> go to section click here and let's suppose that the bracing are tubes so we select HSS and and let's select for example 4 by 4.25 <clears throat> then add after defining the section we start adding the side braces so go to the first point which is this one and the next point again from here to here same thing can be done here okay now close this one right click on one brace and select similar by cross section then go to edit and from here we can move or copy them so we copy and click here from this node to this one okay now we can select them all and we cover them also from this point up to this point so as you see here we have added all the side braces now we have to add the top braces start adding the top braces so from the first point here up to here the next one Now we add braces to the side also. After adding the braces, select the top braces. And cover them. from this point up to this point
Now we have completed the addition of braces.